Okay, let's check out a beta copy of Avid Media Composer 3.0, due to be released in June 2008. Avid's flagship product now offers major changes in affordability, special student pricing, new hardware options, and a range of product enhancements across the board. Let's take a look. First off, stability. Current shipping versions of the software are the most stable in quite some time. Avid engineering teams have done a fantastic job streamlining the code to bring you the latest generation of Media Composer and Symphony. Next up, ballistics. What we are seeing in the new beta versions of software, that's 3.0 of Media Composer and 3.0 of Symphony Nitrous DX, are major improvements in system responsiveness. For Meridian diehards, this is the same performance, but now with multiple formats of HD as well as SD. In addition to this, dependent on hardware configuration, Media Composer now supports full quality of native playback of not just one, but multiple streams of various formats, such as DVC Pro HD, XDCAM HD, HDV, and DNX HD. Next, operating systems. Well, since Avid plays nice and friendly with both Mac and PC, you've got your choice there. On the Mac, Leopard is now required. On the PC, you can choose between Windows Vista or Windows XP. Even with just a single copy of Media Composer software, you can use your Mac or your PC to capture SD, HD, HDV over Firewire, or work with any of the new file-based formats such as XDCAM, XDCAM EX, DVC Pro HD, or AVC Intra. And finish out to tape or cartridge, solid state memory, the web, DVD, or other multimedia formats. Now, if you also need things like analog or digital connectivity, frame accurate, no nonsense output to SD or HD tape, or HDMI with built in 5.1 surround sound monitoring, then Avid also has some new hardware offerings. The Avid Mojo DX and the Avid Nitrous DX are the very latest interface and acceleration equipment from Avid. As you'd expect, they are rack mountable or can fit discreetly under your monitors. This is really nice professional grade equipment which runs quiet and cool to the touch. Both models boast a 10 gigabit interconnect with the host bus, making for plenty of bandwidth for the running of multiple streams of multiple formats in a creative editing environment. Even if you own the previous generation of Adrenaline or Mojo SDI hardware, this new version will be compatible. Plus, there are many other good reasons to upgrade your software. There's been a complete rewrite of the effects pipeline. With a new ACPL architecture, your Media Composer system will load balance effects stacks in the timeline for greatly improved efficiency and performance. The format tab has also been overhauled. You can now mix 720 and 1080 line resolution material with much greater efficiency and also use the new raster dropdown to select for a specific thin raster that you may be working with. For example, material that might be 1280 or 1440 wide instead of the standard 1920. And the list goes on. There's also some great new enhancements in the user interface for editing from the bin and within the timeline and for effects keyframing. There are also a bunch of productivity tools, uh, new console commands for finishing editors, dump effects summary, shows all of the effects uh, in a timeline, including the plugins with versions, which is a, a great thing for preparing for your online session. Dump a source summary. This shows all of the sources, tape-based and file-based assets, graphics, as well as their file path and name and disk labels. Plus, there'll be also a standalone tool called Metafuse, which will ship for free with Media Composer 3.0, which will allow you to create Avid Media out of various professional sequential file formats, complete with all of the metafuse data to allow you the utmost confidence in your editorial process. And then there are two major new AVX plugin tools, the timecode effect and the subcap effect. You can actually find a detailed tutorial on both of these tools at either youtube.com slash avid channel or avid.com slash products slash symphony dash nitrous dash dx. And finally, all of this is delivered on top of the best metadata and media handling in the industry. Avid is renowned for being the best at crunching the numbers and keeping track of files so you don't have to. That raw ability to track your files, your timecode, your effects and your sequences is why using Avid, especially with the newer file-based workflows, makes the most sense for you and your production. For more information, go to avid.com today. And while you're there, why not take a couple of minutes to locate your nearest Avid reseller? They'll be more than happy to help you out with questions and advice as you decide on your next generation of post-production equipment.